Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another episode of Try Hack Me. So the last one, we're still on the CompTIA pen test uh, plus learning path. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see right here. We just finished two tools in code analysis. So the last one, Python for pen tester. So we're starting information gathering and vulnerability scanning, explore passive and active reconnaissance and discover how to use Nmap to collect information about your targets efficiently. So we're gonna do passive reconnaissance and I loaded my attack box or you can do your own attack uh, Linux machine, whichever you prefer. So let's get right into it. Uh, passive reconnaissance, learn about the essential tools for passive reconnaissance, such as who is NS lookup and dig. So as you can see, this is a free room. So essentially it's probably much easier. And as always guys, I strongly recommend read through each task to get full understanding. This, these videos are just to show you how to answer these questions and to move right along. So, so task one is introduction and answer the questions below. This room does not use a target virtual machine VM to demonstrate the discussed topics. Instead, we will query public who is servers and DNS servers for domains owned by TryHackMe. Start the attack box and make sure it is ready. You will use the attack box to answer the questions in later tasks, especially task three and four. So complete. Okay, you can just read through all this. Just talks about introduction to who is NS lookup and dig. Okay, task two, passive versus active recon. So it talks about passive reconnaissance and active reconnaissance. So answer the questions below. You visit the Facebook page of the target company, hoping to get some of their employee names. What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? A for active, P for passive. So looks like talks about the website, Facebook page. And passive looks like it says checking job ads or reading news articles on the target company. So we'll put P. Next question, you pin the IP address of the company web server to check if ICMP traffic is blocked. What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? A for active and P for passive. So you read examples of active reconnaissance is entering company premises or connecting one of the company servers such as HTTP, FTP, and SMTP. So I'm going to go active. All right. All right, last question. You happen to meet the IT administrator of the target co company at a party. You try to use social engineering to get more information about their systems and network infrastructure. What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? A for active, P for passive. I am going to assume it is active because it's not discreetly. So entering company premises, pretending, calling the company and attempt to get information. So it sounds like social engineering. So, A. Okay. Let's go to task three. Talks about who is. It's a request and response protocol. So let's go answer questions below. When was tryhackme.com registered? And hint, use the format, year, month, and date. All right, so close this out. Look at this happy holidays. So we're gonna type who is tryhackme me.com look at this all of these information okay 
So when was tryhatme.com registered? Let's see, register creation date. Looks like 2018, July 5th. Let's try it out. 2018, July. Yeah. Next question, what is the registrar of tryhatme.com? Hint, give its domain name. Domain name, there's tryhatme.com. I don't think this is right, but I'm still gonna try it anyway. Let's see. Let's see, domain, domain. Let's see, domain name, try hackme.com. I'm gonna say the registrar is namecheap.com. All right, last question. Which company is tryhatme.com using for name servers? Okay, which company? As you scroll down, I believe it's Cloudfare. Okay, cloudflare.com. All right. Task four, and let's look up and dig. Let's go. So, task three is who is protocol. Task four is NS lookup and dig protocol. So, NS lookup stands for name server lookup. And obviously, dig is for dig information, right? So, you can read through all this. And answer the questions below. Check the text records of TM, thmlabs.com. What is the flag there? And but says use the attack box, open the terminal, and use the NS lookup or date command to get information you need to answer the following questions. Okay, let's get let's go back up. As you can see, it talks about query type. So gives example here. So what I'm going to do is NS lookup dash type equal t text and it says thmlabs.com. Let's see. There you go, guys. That's our lookup, and I believe is. That's the answer. Yeah, that was simple, guys. So just follow the examples along and um, should be pretty easy. All right, let's go to task five, DNS dumpster. So let's see. Looks like DNS dumpster is another tool to look for information. So Talks about DNS query. Let's right click and open. Close out. So this is dnsdumpster.com. So it gives you example. Probably can't really see it, but yeah. And it says use the web browser on the tag box or your system to answer the following question. Answer questions below. Look up tryhackme.com or DNS dumpster. What is what is one interesting subdomain that you would discover in addition to www and blog? So let's try hack me and it talks about mapping. Okay, so it says besides blog and www. There's remote. Let's try remote. That is correct, guys. All right. Let's close this off. That was easy. You could fiddle around with DS, DNS dumpster. Looks pretty simple. Then there's task six, shodan.io. Again, 
another tool service that you right click on show then there's a search engine right here and it says shodan.io tries to connect every device reachable online to build a search en engine of connect things in contrast with search engine for web pages okay so another tool for access for more information let's see it says it would be best to visit shodan.io to answer the following questions however note that you can find the answers on shodan.io without needing a premium account. So you don't need a premium account. Cool. Answer your questions below. According to shodan.io, what is the second country in the world in terms of the number of pu publicly accessible Apache servers? Okay, so talk about Apache. Let's type Apache. Okay, Apache servers, and it says second country, Germany. Okay. Next question, based on Shodan.io, what is the third most common port used for Apache? Top ports right here. Third, A080. Based on Shodan.io, what is the third most common port used for N G I N X N G I N X. Let's uh, search this up. Okay. Third port five zero zero one. All right, guys. And the last one, task seven summary, just talks about the overview again of who is and his lookup date. Also, two public available services, TNS, Dumpster, and Shodan IO. And it gives you the purpose and command line example. And answer your questions below. Make sure you know all the points discussed in this room, especially all the syntax for the command line tools. And complete. There you go, guys. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. That's I already did on LinkedIn. If you like this video guys, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, comment on the videos below to make my videos, improve my videos. And let's terminate this, go back to learn. I just wanna show you something. Lastly guys, I always talk about my videos. All right, I'll try to learn. There we go. Sign in. It's loading kind of slow, but I am going to, for the next video, reset active reconnaissance. And just want to show you again. I'm transitioning to the IT field. I'm not in the industry yet, but I'm current with CompTIA, A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, and Security+. I am studying for Cloud Essentials just to get an easy cert under my belt. As you can see, the IFT just for the fun of it. And it's something I like to do, like to learn, and I'm doing this on my, on my own time. And I like doing it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till the next video.